Hi, I'm Chris. We, Dakota Coalition, are located on original lands of Anishinaabe, Cree, OG Cree, and Dakota Indian peoples, and the homeland of the Métis Nation. We respect the treaties that were made on these territories. We acknowledge the harms and mistakes of the past, and we dedicate ourselves to move forward with partnership with Indigenous communities in a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. Graduates, honored guests, parents, grandparents, colleagues, and friends, it is my honor to welcome you to Dakota Collegiate's convocation for the class of 2020. My name is Melanie Romas, and along with my colleagues, Ray Jarvis, Kathy Ann Winters, we will be your masters of ceremonies today. At this time, I would like to introduce trustee Chris Secretson, who will be bringing greetings on behalf of the Louis Riel School Division Board of Trustees. So, How's 2020 been for you so far? I admit that I also would have preferred to see things go differently in, in the first half of the year. That said, while the pandemic has impacted us all, both in small and profound ways, I think it's also given us a gift, and that gift is time. It has given each one of us the opportunity to pause, reflect, and imagine what the world will become when COVID-19 is no longer the top story. It has also given us the chance to reconnect with the people who are important to us and to further develop those bonds of friendship, family, and love. Your generation will now help shape what is to be our new normal through your words, your actions, and your resolve. The education you have worked so hard to achieve and your graduation we are here to celebrate has given you the tools to take your vision for a better world to the next level. As the builders of our collective future, I want to thank you for the important journey you're about to embark on and encourage you, especially in these uncertain times, to continue showing that you can and will rise to any challenge that comes your way. I know this event does not resemble the one you imagined only months ago, and the necessary changes to the format has been especially difficult as you see closure and shared experience with your family and friends. While this celebration is different, your hard work, dedication, and perseverance is not. This remains a celebration of you, your achievements, and success. I know our 2020 graduates are a group of trailblazers, innovators, and creators, and I can't wait to see how you transform our world for the better. Congratulations, Class of 2020. To present our diplomas of the ceremony and give the principal's address, I would like to call Ms. Jill Mathe to the stage. Graduates and honored guests, it is my great pleasure to welcome you as we celebrate Dakota Collegiate graduating class of 2020. Many of us, even decades later, remember the details of our high school graduation clearly. It is a remarkable time in our lives. I think though, I can say with confidence that this year's graduating class gets the award for the most remarkable. Overcoming the hurdles that a global pandemic threw our way required a great deal of adaptation, cooperation, and grit. But you did it. We all did it together. When physical distancing measures kicked in in the spring, our teachers and support staff went from classroom to online instruction in just a matter of a couple of days. Parents and caregivers, we asked you to go above and beyond your usual support roles. And students, you had to become more independent during this time. Thank you to all of you for your tremendous efforts and never tell, sell yourself short on all that you have achieved during this time. This extraordinary school year came with challenges, no doubt, but also with valuable learnings that I am certain will stay with you for years to come. We realize firsthand the value of knowledge, of science and technology. Not only did public health and medical experts guide our province and our country along a path to curbing the virus, we also experienced how innovation allowed us to stay connected with friends and loved ones, how it allowed us to continue to learn and it allowed us to see in real time how the rest of the world was managing. We also learned the value of collective action. 
as a school, a province, country, and indeed globally, COVID-19 demanded we act together for the benefit of all. Truly, the importance of care and kindness took center stage. Speaking of collective action, over the past few weeks, we have also witnessed its power when coming together for peace and justice for our racialized communities. Another aspect of this remarkable time in our history. I know many of you and your family members participated in the rally just a couple of weeks ago here in Winnipeg. And I'm confident that as graduates of Dakota Collegiate, your continued actions will make a difference for our world. It is fitting that the Sioux language root of the word Dakota means the allies. Graduates, as you exit the doors of Dakota Collegiate today with your diploma in hand, I ask you live up to the meaning of our school's name when it comes especially to those who are marginalized and discriminated against. Not only are we Lancers for Life, but we must be allies for life. So by now, I'm sure you're aware that we are celebrating much more than just your academic achievement. Today, we celebrate your ability to come together during challenging times to reach your goals, while at the same time acting for the benefit of humankind. However you mark your graduation today, although it might not have been what you had anticipated, be proud of all that you have accomplished. I know you will use these lessons you have learned during this unprecedented time to make your graduation special and unforgettable. Best wishes to all of you and thank you to everyone for making this exceptional day possible. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Please join us with welcoming our graduates. Good morning faculty, honored guests, family, friends, and fellow graduates. This year, Dakota Collegiate has decided to reinforce the current message of being stronger together by offering a valedictory address by four graduates, Sarah Fedorowicz, James Na, Saleha Zamir, and myself, Robin Chow. We are humbled and privileged to be able to represent this year's 2020 graduating class. Who would have thought this would be how our graduation would unfold? It's surreal. We all had this picture perfect image dancing in our heads of what this day would be like. We would be sitting together as a class, excited and maybe a tad nervous for what our future would hold. We would watch our friends and classmates receive their diploma in person, knowing it could potentially be the last time some of our paths cross. Our family and friends would be gathered with us to celebrate this incredible milestone, one that we have worked so hard for over the last 12 years. And we would all have the chance to say goodbye to our teachers who have invested countless hours into molding us into young adults. Ready to start the next chapter of our lives, and given the circumstances surrounding us in the community, the end of our senior year has been unique and unlike any other classes before us. Let's take this time to reflect on our classes past, present, and future, on those who have helped us and how the world as well as ourselves have changed. Grade nine was full of new beginnings and uncertainty. We were the newbies, the ones who apparently didn't know how to walk in the halls. It wasn't our fault, the school felt like a maze. After a month or so, we learned the new rhythm of high school, and before we knew it, we were introduced to hamper time in high school sports, our first set of exams, and blood blue during spirit week. Grade 10 was kicked off with Dakota's first ever homecoming game on Murray Field, and ended with the first spring into summer, where we celebrated the warm weather with churros and a dunk tank. This was prime time in Lancer Nation. In grade 11, classes got more difficult, and we had to start thinking about our futures. I was so busy, I think I slept through a quarter of my ace lot history classes. Mr. Turner, I apologize. Despite an increased workload, our informal grade level gave us formal opportunities to be leaders in the school. We were excited for next year because we would soon become seniors. It was grade 12. This was our year. The light of freedom at the end of the tunnel was getting closer and closer. We won Spirit Week, like actually won, we didn't have to cheat for once and went all out for school events because we knew these were our last opportunities. We were so caught up in the schoolwork, provincial titles, and the excitement of graduation that when it happened, didn't quite feel real. COVID-19 brought our final year to a grinding halt. Our eagerness to make the most of these last five months was replaced with fear and disappointment. It felt like the end of high school in March. Many of us had strived for academic success by bringing our grades up to honor roll levels. And we took that will and perseverance and continued to apply it transitioning into online schooling, 
during the pandemic. We evolved our learning style to meet the new goals and expectations that came with this uncharted territory. Many of us continue to complete the work provided, striving to improve what we had, even though the circumstances had changed. For some of us, school athletics has been a big part of our high school careers. We were extremely successful in the athletics, culminating in our varsity girls and boys volleyball teams winning provincial titles and varsity girls basketball team winning the SCAC banner. One of our graduates also had the opportunity to represent Canada at the Special Olympics World Games in Abu Dhabi, bringing home two gold medals. Also, our musical theater program has continued to flourish with productions like Annie, High School Musical, and Once Upon a Mattress, where students spent so many hours perfecting their craft to ensure quality entertainment. Opportunities to be involved in Student Council, Black and Gold, GSA, Cyber Defense, the Manitoba Marathon, the Yes Committee, 30 Hour Famine, Habitat for Humanity, and Seniors Night made us appreciate being part of Dakota's message of inclusivity and diversity and reminded us how important contributing to our community is. To our families and friends, thank you for being here today and thank you for watching from home if you weren't able to attend. I'd understand if any of you got a little emotional. This is a big day. We're not so little anymore, are we? Time sure flew by in these four years, but of course you know, you were there too. All those concerts, sports games, musicals, you woke us up every early morning and spent probably hundreds on gas driving us to our activities. We may not say it often enough, but thank you for supporting us in every way possible. You've helped us succeed. And we know it wasn't easy. It must have been frustrating being told the night before that we needed pasta for hamper time or a shirt for whiteboard Wednesday. Regardless of how crazy things were, you helped us get to this ceremony today. Your efforts will not be forgotten. Teachers, thank you. You put up with us every day for four years. You were our emotional support, our educators, motivators, friends, and so much more. When the world turned scary, you'd ease our worry and replace it with hope. You never gave up on us, even when we asked the dumbest questions or simply could not be bothered to do the work. You did lip sync battles, dressed up in silly costumes, emceed our events, and dedicated countless hours to making our time at Dakota really fun. And your patience is incredible. If I had to reteach a math lesson to someone 10 minutes after finishing it, I would scream. And yet, my math teachers did that for me on countless occasions. Thank you for taking us to Japan, Costa Rica, New York, and countless other places on trips. We will remember them for the rest of our lives. You all are a huge part of the reason we are getting our diplomas today. Thank you. In closing, I want all of you to leave here with something to remember. The world is unjust, and we as new graduates must be the start line where change begins. Like Martin Luther once said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And we must be the catalyst to combat this ever growing problem because even the smallest of actions can create ripples that reach far and wide. None of this can happen without hope because it is the one entity that can help us achieve great things. We must never lose hope even if life kicks us down excessively and repetitively. In the end, hope and change go hand in hand because there's no change without hope and no hope without change. So leave here with the mindset that you can and will make a difference in the world. I believe and I know you can do great things. So choose your path wisely and fear nothing. Congratulations, class of 2020.
Madison Abrams. I'd like to thank my parents and all the teachers who helped me get to this point. Angelica May Abrigo. I am grateful to have teachers, EAs, Mrs. Bell, the vice principals, and Ms. Mathe in helping me achieve my goals while attending this outstanding institution, which I will dearly miss. Lucas Adam. Ramona Akiezer. I would like to thank Google, Wikipedia, and whoever invented copy and paste. Thank you. Oh, and I guess family and friends. Comfort Akintokun. I am very thankful to my parents, friends, and other family members for supporting and encouraging me to never give up. Most importantly, I'm thankful to God for keeping me alive till this day. Miskana Alamayo. I thank my friends and teachers who made this past four years memorable. Darwin Alvarez. If school has taught me anything, it's how to make any room a bedroom. Sophia Amys. I would like to thank my family, friends, and coaches for encouraging me to step outside of my comfort zone to challenge myself and become the woman I am today. Hila Emin. I am thankful for my amazing friends, teachers, and family who have guided me into who I am today. Kyle Asmundson. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Rita Ada. I would like to thank my family and friends who made me who I am today. Elizabeth Audette Nees. Thank you, Dakota, for the memories. Christian Aye. Thank you to my family for their support, their advice, and for keeping me accountable. Joyce Shurine Ayasin. It's a big guy upstairs. Thank you. I'm more grateful than ever to dad and to mom for all the sacrifices made. To me, I'm proud of you. Taya Airborns. I'd like to thank not only my family and friends, but my coaches and teachers who have helped shape me into the person I am today. I wouldn't be where I am without you. Bilal Ayoub. I'd like to thank my friends and family for supporting me along this journey. Marcelo Asafarje. I want to thank my mom for always being there. Fatima Bichari. We have reached the end of the road. For every beginning, there is an end. And here is the end of our study period. Thank you to my family and thank you to all my teachers who supported me and stood by me. Thank you so much. Naslin Beckingham Johnson. I'd like to thank Sewell for always pushing me to be the best version of myself. I am excited to move on to the next chapter of my life. Austin Bezos. The only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. Abib Sabhadwaj, I am very thankful for my parents for pushing me towards my goals and helping me along the journey, and for my friends for always being there and making my experience of high school amazing. Rafi bin Fez, success depends upon previous preparation, and without such preparations, there is sure to be failure. Deegan Blacksmith, I'd like to thank all of my teachers that teach me and for teaching me new things and helping me to get ready to go out on my own. Nathan said Blade III, thanks to all my teachers for being there for me. I love you all. Kylie Blondo. I'm so thankful for my friends who have been there since the beginning and who have kept me motivated to do my best in school. Most importantly, thanks to my mom for giving me someone to look up to throughout high school. Stephen Barnerchuk, thanks for helping me achieve my goals in life and in school. Brooke Boylow. I would like to thank Mr. Ritchie and Mr. Schultz for encouraging me to pursue a career in music after high school. Avery Bolograf. I really want to say thank you to my mom for her unwavering support and my dad for being there. Chase Bond. Thank you, mom and dad, and everybody for the support through my school career. Derek Belanger. If you look at what you have in life, you'll always have more. If you look at what you don't have in life, you'll never have enough. Kyla Boulard. 
Taj Brar. There are so many people who contributed to my being on the stage today. Thank you. I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. Aiden Bremner. Adelis Brown, it's a great feeling and yet so sad to live in such a great institution. Angela Belay. Thank you to everyone who has been there for me for the past four years. Kira Butterfield. Whether you look for the good in people or you look for the bad in people, you'll find it. Carson Kaju. Thank you to my family and friends for always pushing me to be greater. Matthew Kadot. Ben Katie. Sofia Castro de Castro. Would I rather be feared or loved? Easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Tan Chahal. If you're afraid of failure, you can't achieve your dreams. Sometimes in life, you just gotta send it. Danny Chan. My gratitude to my family and friends. Brooke Chapman. Thank you to my friends and family for supporting me through the best four years of my life. Nicholas Chapman. Thank you to my friends, family, and teachers for all the support over the past four years. Mui Chen. I'm so happy to study at Dakota. Thanks very much to the teacher at this school. Mira Chue. One thing I've learned from all 12 years of school is I'm the best there is. I wake up, go to the mirror, and see greatness every morning. Robin Chow. The true way to live is to enjoy every moment as it passes. It is in the everyday things around us that the beauty of life lies. Levi Koliander. Thanks to all my teacher for the last three years in Dakota. Kiitos mun opettajille näistä kolmesta vuodesta Dakodassa. Riley Colton. I'm grateful to be here today. Thank you to my teachers and my grandpa. AJ Connor. Candace Constant. A thank you to Mrs. Huska for always believing I could pass chemistry and the librarians for understanding why my books were always late. Mr. Jansen, thank you for making math more bearable. Lastly, I give all my thanks to Mrs. Bell. She was always there for me even in the toughest times. Thank you for supporting me in my dreams. Daniel Conway, life is like a sandwich. No matter which way you flip it, the bread comes first. Haley Rose Crescene, thanks to everyone that made high school fun. Angelo Crescini, thank you to my family for supporting me in many ways throughout my years in school and for always pushing me to do my best. Uluwatu Fumi, Dada. If I waited for perfection, I would never write a word. Jarek David. I just want to say thank you to my parents, friends, and teachers who pushed me to become who I am today. I can't wait to see what my life has to offer me in the future. Ashley Debates. I want to thank all my teachers and friends for making me who I am today. I will never forget the amazing experiences I had and how these experiences have changed who I am. Bailey Delorme Gertzen. I'm happy that my grades went up throughout high school because my height sure didn't. Brooke Delorme Gertzen. I am very thankful for my wonderful friends I have met throughout my years in high school and my family for pushing me to succeed. Caitlin Down. I want to thank my friends and teachers for making these past four years so memorable. Nathaniel Duncan. I would like to thank all of my teachers throughout the past four years as well as my family and friends for helping make me into the person I am today. If I had to choose the biggest thing that I learned throughout my high school journey, it would be that hard work goes a long way and that through hard work just about anything is possible. Conrad Dick. I would like to thank my friends, family, and teachers for making my years at Dakota a time to remember. I'm very excited to see what the future holds for me and my classmates. Jaya Djokovic. 
I would like to thank my best friends for getting me through these past four years and for always sticking by my side. Lauren Desiver. I'd like to thank my family and friends for the support they've given me throughout these last four years and for helping me become the person I am today. Nelson Elliott. High school is not only a wonderful place for learning and meeting new people, but most importantly, growing as an individual. Hi, I'm Chris Espinosa. I want to thank all of my parents, all of my friends, all of the staff for all the good times and the field trips. Sarah Fedorowicz. To waste, to destroy our natural resources, to skin and exhaust the land instead of using it so as to increase its usefulness, will result in undermining in the days of our children the very prosperity which we ought by right to hand down to them, amplified and developed. Caitlin Figler, I'm grateful for all the amazing people I've met and the experiences I've been able to have being here. This will always be my second home. Carolina Fisher, I'm so thankful for all my friends, family, and past teachers who have molded me into the person I am today. I'm excited to start a new chapter in my life. Aiden Flockton, thank you to all of the teachers at Dakota who helped me with my education. Roger Flora, finally. Thanks to all the teachers who have helped me get here today. Chris May Francisco, thank you to all my teachers for helping me and guiding me throughout my high school years. Holly Fraser, thank you to Ms. Farrell for really caring about me as a student. It was great to have such a good teacher in my corner. Lena Fridlander, my height is the same as my tolerance for nonsense, extremely short. Jordan Friesen, thank you to my family and teachers for getting me through high school and move on into my next chapter in my life. Leanne Fiddler. Thomas Gabriel, I'd like to thank all my teachers and friends for putting up with me. Sofia Garcia Moya. I would like to thank Ms. Dowell for all her support and help these past three years. Nifemi Paramosi. It has been the slowest yet fastest four years of my life. Thank you to my coaches and teachers for having such a big impact in my life. I'd like to take this moment to acknowledge the strongest person I know. I love you, Mama. Jordan Gerard. Life is short and so am I. Kylie Gislason, thank you to my teachers for getting me this far. Caitlin Goodman, I would like to thank my parents and wonderful teachers and coaches I had who pushed me to be the best I could. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Nicholas Gordon. Vaidehi Goswami. It's a beautiful day. It's both an ending and a beginning. I want to thank my parents, grandparents, and teachers for all the love and support, as well as my little sister for unlimited laughter. I will carry all the knowledge, friendships, and memories with me for the rest of my life. I wish for all of us joy, love, laughter, and a life where all of our dreams come true. Alyssa Gregorush. I won't think much of this until it's a memory. Paige Gregory. I'm incredibly thankful for the opportunities Dakota Collegiate and my parents have given me. Going to Japan was a life-changing experience. What made it so special was the people I met. Living by the idea that strangers are friends you haven't met has made me value all the people in my life that have made me who I am. Jada Grosset. I am very thankful for my friends and my family for helping me get here today. Jessica Greba. I am grateful for the love, support, and strength my family gave me so I could push through the obstacles that would stand in my way. Miguel Camari Life is chaos, success is completely arbitrary, and confidence is everything. Vanchita Gupta Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Maya Koretsky I'd like to thank Mr. Favoni, Ms. Sewell, and Mr. Dan for being excellent teachers. I'd also like to thank my parents for being so supportive and open to encouraging me and my dreams. Akbar Hatley Georges. 
I would like to thank my parents and teachers for their guidance and support, and I would also like to thank my friends for making this journey such an exciting time. Cam Hall, don't take a shortcut in a shortcut. Alex Hall, I'd like to thank my friends and family for making my life a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. There are so many people that have passed but still impact my life for the better. Thomas Hansen Ty Harbottle I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for helping me and supporting me through my great four years at Dakota Collegiate. Kaylin Hyam If it wasn't for my parents, I don't think I'd be here today. Every time I didn't believe in myself, they did. Bryson Highfield Nyet Habtumikael Honestly, I don't love school, but I want to thank all my family, friends, and teachers for making my life at Dakota as fun as possible. Thank you. Brayden Hoffley I would like to thank my mom and my grandparents for being there and supporting me through school. Mafus Hawk I thank my Lord for blessing me. I thank my family, teachers, and friends for their full support. I'm so excited and blessed to graduate, and I thank everyone. Without them, it would have not been possible. Their support was everything. Thank you, Dakota Collegiate. Angel Hool. I'm thankful for my family and my teachers for getting me where I am now. Jaden Hernuk. I'd like to thank my teachers, friends, and family, who've all played a special role in my life. Good luck to all the graduates. Annie Huang. I would like to thank my family and friends for helping me through these past four years to become the person I am today. Paige Hutton. Thank you to all my friends and family who have supported me through high school. Can't wait for what the future holds. Sewan Huang. Spend your time in your own way. Chelsea Inkster. Hugh Irvine. I'd like to thank everyone who helped me along my journey to get to where I am today. Adam Isaac. It's easy to be nihilistic amid a world of real and existential threats, but we only get one shot at life. We might as well enjoy the time we have with it. So thank you to everyone that's been there. I wish you the best now and going forward. Evan James. I am eternally grateful to those who helped me be here today. The future looks bright. Nancy Jang. Eugene Jung. I want to thank my parents for making it so easy for me to sneak out every night for parties and to everyone else for their support. Noor Case. I'm thankful for all the teachers and all the wonderful friends I've made throughout the years. Ter Kais, live today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, just today. Inhabit your moments, don't rent them out to tomorrow. Ramisha Colleen, thank you to my parents for helping me through the tough times. I would also like to thank all of my teachers for not giving up on me. Jim and Kang, commitment is what makes a promise become a reality. A green car. The future depends on what we do in the present. Andrew Kerr. Amy Kim. Ginny Kim, I'd like to thank everyone who supported and encouraged me throughout my time at Dakota. Min So Kim. I would like to thank my friends, family, and teachers for being with me through the years of high school. I will be attending McGill University in the fall to further my studies. Lucas King, I'm going to miss Dakota Collegiate. I'd like you all to continue to give everyone numbers and animals. I'd like to thank mom and dad for helping me. Nicole Kirchner, I would like to thank my friends for helping me through high school. Isaac Asara Kelly Kirungi. Okay. First, when my high school life is a series on Netflix, put this in the intro. Second, when I become prime minister, put this in the documentary. 
Oh, and um, to the future Isaac, don't fall down or trip. It's just walking. You've been doing this your whole life. Come on, man. Amanda Clausen. Well, go on after high school. Abigail Klimchuk Malikos. John Kochi. I'm going to miss you, Miss Thacker. Have fun next year and don't ever stop being awesome. Kimberly Konstchuk. Emerson Korznowski. Hannah Montana always said nobody's perfect, but then again, here I am. Mason Cotchin. I'm thankful to those that helped me, and remember, be kind to everyone. Alex Krakowicz. Proud to be a Lancer for life. Dennis Kravitz. I want to thank my family for their support all those years. Mia Kootenay. Angus LaForest. I would like to thank the teachers like Mr. Schultz, Ms. Martinson, Ms. Bamford, and Mrs. Sewell for creating a home away from home for me. Haley Laslin. I would like to thank my mom for helping me get to this point. Conley. After graduation, I plan to attend Columbia College to pursue a degree in business. I would like to thank my friends, family, teachers, and coaches for making my last four years at Dakota great. Destiny Lefebvre. Who would have thought? Four years later and I still haven't finished a novel. David Latane. I am thankful for everyone who has helped me throughout my life. Crystal Lee. Queen Anne Lee. I am very thankful for all my friends, teachers, and families who went through this absolute experience with me. Now it's time for a new chapter in life. Wing Lu Ngam. I graduated. Catherine Luo. I would like to thank my late grandfather and my mama, my caring teachers and friends, Sparknotes, and the guy on YouTube explaining calculus to me at 3 a.m. for supporting me through high school. Josh Ma, no way I passed high school. I thought I had like 40s this whole time. Julian Nysel Madayek. I want to say thank you to my friends, families, and teachers who have listened without judgment, helped me without entitlement, understood without pretension, and loved me without conditions. Brittany Marin, I would like to thank all my teachers EAs and family who got me this far. Rachel Mall, thank you to my family and friends for always supporting me. Reese Malvis. Rodri Mandel, I'm so grateful for the friends I've made, the teachers who have guided me, and my family for pushing me forward. Thank you all so much. Emily Mandaman, I didn't fail the test, I just found a hundred ways to do it wrong. McKenna Martin, these past four years have been amazing. I wouldn't be here today without the love and support from my friends, family, teachers, coaches, and most of all, my mom. Thank you for sticking by my side at the kitchen table for countless hours, late nights, and early mornings, helping me achieve greatness. Michael Massiger. Is this thing on? I would like to thank all my teachers, and especially the drama community, for helping me through high school. Taylor McGilvery. Choosing a grad quote was harder than all four years of high school. Damien McWilliams. Sam Meheritab. I am thankful for all the memories I made at Dakota and to everyone who helped make those memories so special. Jamie Mayer. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and teachers for all their support. Lydia McConan. To achieve, you don't need to work hard. All you need is Google and a supportive family. Guyana Makarchan, thank you to all my friends and family for helping me get through high school. Kara Moore. Connor Morphy, I'd like to thank all of my teachers, coaches, 
friends and family for making these past four years such a great time. Caleb Murray, lots of good memories, lots of ups and downs that have helped make me the person I am today. James Na, I would like to thank my family, teachers, and friends for all the lessons they have taught me throughout high school and promise to change those lessons into something great. Abby Neal, high school was the best of times, but also the worst of times. I would like to thank my friends and family for supporting me throughout the years and getting me here today. Logan Nielsen Simmons, I'm very thankful for all the friends I made at Dakota Collegiate Thank you to all the staff who have believed in what I can do. Thank you, Mom, for all your support. Layla Neskik. The final few months of high school were not what I expected, but over the last four years, I've made some lifelong friends and memories that I'll never forget at Dakota Collegiate. Jan Nguyen. Thanks for helping me to be more confident and happy when I came to Dakota. I have feel more comfortable and met a lot of friends. I am proud of myself because I'm stronger and brave. So I was successful in high school. Next year I will be going to Great River College. Kate Nguyen. I'm very thankful for my wonderful teachers, especially for my mother who has created a great opportunity for me to study in Canada. May Nguyen, thanks for everything you guys did to help me all the time. This is my best high school ever. I love everyone so much. Chung Ting Nguyen, I want to give a big thanks to Miss Farrell because she always helped me in English. Ibuka Angelita, I'm happy that I'm, I'm at the corner because I love playing football. I love the coaches, my teammates, the teachers, my friends, and the staff. Iman Noor, thank you to my family and friends for supporting me through high school. Sabi Normand, sometimes it didn't seem like this piece of paper was worth all the effort it took to get here, but I'm glad I stuck with it. Thank you to everyone that put their time and effort in helping me get here today. Gabe Oaks, Adriel Ocampo. The sun is brighter on the other side. Daniel Okoro. Timei Onwaje. After graduation, I plan to attend the University of Manitoba to pursue a degree in architecture. Paul Urjekwe. Let my journey begin. Peter Urjekwe. I want to thank my parents for giving me the opportunity to be able to pursue my dreams of football and engineering. Daniel Aranu, I'd like to thank my family, teachers, and friends for pushing me forward to accomplish my goals in high school. Most importantly, to my mom, thank you. I don't think I would be on the stage today without you. Andrew Odie. I'm thankful for my family and friends for being by my side and most important for my dog Jet who has always been there and will forever be my favorite. Serena Paley. I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for encouraging me throughout these past four years. Ethan Papineau. I would like to thank everyone for helping me through my high school journey. One thing family, high school, and football taught me is to not look back but to look forward in life. Joy Park. Shushmita Ben Patel. Let God write my story. Joshua Pollock. Lancers on three, family on six. Rachel Peterson. I'd like to thank the cafeteria for always having good soup. Aiden Penner. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. Easton Penner. Thank you, high school, for teaching me so many things about myself and giving me memories that last a lot. Erica Peter. 
Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. Kushana Peterson. I thank you for all the teachers in the ears who helped me through the years. Nero Pipo. This school has taught me a lot about my life and people. I would like to thank all of the people that I have met throughout high school. It has been a great honor to learn and experience high school with you guys. Dhruvi Prajapati. I'm very thankful for my wonderful friends and parents. Jalen Pritchard. I'm very thankful for my friends, family, and teachers that helped me get through all of high school. Ruth Primachuk. I'm ready to move on to the next stage in my life. Abigail Pedico. I want to thank my parents, my siblings, my grandparents, my friends, and my teachers for always believing in me and for pushing me to go out of my comfort zone. Thank you for everything you have done. I wouldn't be where I am or who I am today if it wasn't for all of you. Donald Purdy. I am very thankful for my wonderful friends and family who have molded me into the person I am today. I can't wait to see what else life has in store for me. Soha Qureshi. Dear mom and dad, there are no better words to say today than thank you. In addition, thank you so much respectable teachers and my dear friends, especially Anjani. I wish you all the best over the years. Congratulations 2020 batch. Maz Rahim, keep it funky. Rianne Ramsey. I'm pretty sure if you were to ask my friends and teachers, they would all agree that I live by the statement, better late than never. Ava Rutana. It is what it is. Anjani Rawat. Dear mom and dad, there are no better words to say today than thank you. In addition, thank you so much respectable teachers and my dear friends. I wish you all the best over the years. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. Jack Redica, thank you everyone who helped me along this path. What I've learned is don't procrastinate. Marcus Redmond, a ship is always safe at the shore, but that is not what it is built for. Noah Reeder, I'd like to thank all of my peers and teachers at Dakota that helped me get here. Next year, I will be attending the Royal Military College to complete a degree in computer engineering in order to pursue a career as a communication electronics engineering officer in the Royal Canadian Air Force. Benjamin Ryko. Jason Reed. Hannah Montana once said, nobody's perfect, but here I am. Val Riazansky. Didn't think I would make it this far, but I guess we can only go uphill from here. Sydney Richard. Do or do not. There is no try. Calvin Roberts. Switching high schools for every grade has been hard, but I'm so happy to have finally made it. Christopher Robertson. Haley Ra. It always seems impossible until it's done. Adrian Rodas. It was a nice ride, but don't be sad that it's over. Be glad because well, it is over, and then we're able to advance to the next stage. Mivon Glory Roman. I want to say thank you to my friends, family, homestay family, and most importantly to my teachers. God bless you. Elliot Resnold. When you think you've done enough, do a little more because someone out there is working harder than you. Diana Sakinova. I'm thankful to all my friends and family who supported me throughout all these years. Jasmine San Pedro. I am thankful, blessed, and proud of myself for coming this far because of my family, friends, and our DCI staff and teachers. Just like the song in Aladdin, a whole new world awaits. Bishoy Senad. Thank you to my family for their support. Matt Sawatsky. I would like to thank my family and friends for helping me. Sasha Saw. High school taught me to strive and achieve my dreams, while keeping my head held high with dignity and strength, and smiling with enthusiasm, especially during the tough times. 
Thank you, Dakota, for making me who I am today. Megan Schneider. I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. Jessica Schultz. Thank you to my friends and family. Nicholas Skrupa. I'm thankful for my friends and teachers who have guided me through the last four years of my life. Jovan Preet Singh Sekhan. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Harleen Sambi. I want to thank Miss Milner for always believing in me and encouraging me. Also, thank you to Mr. Fash and Miss Reynolds for inspiring my love of science. Austin Rain Shepard. Ashley Sims. High school taught me if you fall behind, run faster, never give up, never surrender, and rise up against the odds. Hubert Cindy Kuwabo. From the day I was born, I had two choices have an incredible memory or be extremely handsome. To this day, I still don't know what I chose. Gurleen Singh. Life is a series of hellos and goodbyes. This is one of them. Goodbye and thanks for the memories. Pahul Singh, it always seems impossible until it's done. Cameron Scotchless, Miigwech, Chinkoya, thank you to all my friends and family for all your support through the years. Jalen Small, I would like to thank my parents and teachers for all the support throughout the year. Abby Smith, I would like to thank Mr. Sung and Dakota Collegiate for developing me as both a basketball player and as a person. I also want to thank my family for giving me all the opportunities I've enjoyed. Jake Smith, thank you to all my friends, family, and teachers who helped me grow in life. Kariana Smith, thanks to everyone who helped me get here today. Kate Smith. It's times like this I wish my last name didn't start with an S. Eden Salveson. I look forward to my future. Jason Spade. I'd like to thank my teachers and all the staff that helped me to get to this point in my life. Brendan Spence Simpson. I'm out. Marcus Stanisavljevic. Keep your head up. Cameron Sumka. River Swan. My favorite thing about Dakota Collegiate is the people. They made these last four years amazing. Thank you. Ling Zetang. This is a great light I finished the high school. And of course, I'm thankful that I made the right people at Dakota. Ryan Thiessen. I would like to thank everyone who has helped me get here today. Jesse Thompson. I'm just getting started. Kayla Torme. I would like to thank all of my teachers for pushing me to be my better self. Josh Treflin. I would like to thank my family for all of their support. Chris Tyrell. I'd like to thank my friends and teachers for helping me and support me to reach new heights. Call him Ukrainian. Look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. Ahmad Turiali. Howard Van Dale. Thanks to my friends, family, and teachers for helping me get on the stage today. They said, oh, you graduated. No, I decided I was finished. Emma Vanderhart. I would like to thank Mrs. Sewell and Mr. Skeed for always encouraging me. Chase Van Humbeck. I want to thank my mom and dad for supporting me through high school and Dakota for giving me a memorable grade 12 experience. Haley Vanya. This journey has come to an end, but it's the beginning of another one. Brody Vermette. Kate Wally. Thank you for your support, Mom, Dad, and Ryan. Xing Hong Wang. I had four spectacular years in Dakota Collegiate, and I would like to say thank you to all my teachers and friends. The past will never come, 
and the future needs to work hard. William Ward Cassidy Warnett, thank you to my parents for guiding me through these past four years. Nicholas Welch Andrew Weeb, I'd like to thank all the coaches, teachers, friends, and family that have pushed me to be the person I am today. Ethan Weeb, it's been a blast. Thank you everyone for the help. Edward Wong, thank you to my friends and family for being there for me. Tyler Wood, don't overthink the simple things. Ava Woodman Emma Wynn Challenges do not define who we are. It's the perseverance and community that carries us through it that makes us who we are. Yimin Xu I would like to say thanks to all the staff at the Kota Collegiate for all the support and opportunities that were provided during my high school time. Madison Zadro. I really want to thank my dad. I wouldn't be here without you. Also, thanks to everyone at Dakota who made me feel welcome this year. Saleha Zamir. I want to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout this epic journey. Special thanks to my favorite teacher, Ms. McLeod, for being an amazing person. Benjamin Zander. Yosef Zabena. I appreciate my family and friends for always being there for me. And I'm excited to see what life is like after high school. Xiaotian Zhang Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Remain true to my original aspiration and keep my mission firmly in mind. Qian Feng Zhao Be nice whoever you end up with, be thankful whoever you stay with. Qiaohan Zi Zia I'd like to thank my parents and my friends for their support and guidance.
Please join us for a round of applause for Dakota Collegiate's graduating class of 2020. Graduates, if you haven't already done so, you may move your tassel from the right side to the left. Graduates, I invite you to toss your caps in celebration of Dakota Collegiate's class of 2020. This brings to a close our convocation ceremony. Enjoy the rest of the graduation celebrations today as we honor our graduates of 2020, our Lancers for Life. Thank you. 